Hey, what's going on? I'm LaPrentis Damon, and in today's video, we are going to do a review on Donna's water. It's called Donna, okay? <laughs> uh, if you look at the back of it, it shows this. Um, but nonetheless, this is the one we're testing today, all right? So let's go ahead and get poured up. And the reason why we're testing this is because for those of you who are actually, uh, who watch the masterclass and who have subscribed to the channel, I'm currently deployed. And so this is what they have everywhere. They have this all over the place um, in pallets, and this is what they prefer us to drink, okay? Um, this is what they prefer our military people to drink where I'm at. So uh, we will be comparing this though to electrolyzed reduced water. And this is the water I would recommend drinking. This is the water I recommend drinking. I wanna see how well it does though. Boom, all right, so the first thing we're gonna test this for is antioxidants. And this is the most important test that we'll be doing here today. Why? Because we don't wanna be consuming things, at least not intentionally, <laughs> that are creating sickness and dis-ease in the body. And beverages that are oxidizing are doing exactly that, okay? So things that are oxidizing, they are coming after our cells. And when our cells lose those electrons, that creates oxidation and inflammation. They get inflamed because they can't take in nutrients, they can't get rid of waste, so they become inflamed, okay? And that's linked to every single health disease known to man. So any type of itis you're experiencing, that's inflammation happening in the body, okay? So we wanna neutralize that, we wanna prevent that. And the best way to do that is through antioxidants. These are your vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. These are fantastic for lowering that inflammation, reducing that oxidation, and keeping us looking young, okay? So how do we test that with water? We are gonna use this ORP meter. ORP stands for Oxidation Reduction Potential, or the potential to reduce oxidation. And if we see a positive number here, we know that this is oxidizing, <laughs> okay? Creating more sickness and dis-ease, dis-ease in the body, okay? However, if we see a negative number, we know that is a fantastic antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. So let's go ahead and get this turned on. And as you see, even my air, even the air around us is oxidizing. But let's see what we get with Donna's water. Man, look at that. It is 210 and rising. Because once again, even the air around us is oxidizing, so it's just adding to that. It's like, pow, take that, take that. Uh, so it's getting up to a 227, 230. Oh my gosh, it's steadily going up quick, okay? All right, <laughs> let's see how this electrolyzed reduced water does. Oh my gosh, check that dash. Look at the dash. It is doing a negative, negative 744, okay? So this is very, very strong, very potent, antioxidant rich water, okay? And there's a lot of benefits that can come with that, okay? But there you have it. That is the first test, the most important one, which is on antioxidants as we see this water is oxidizing. So let's go ahead and jump into our second test. Alrighty, on to our second test. This one's all about alkalinity. Everybody knows that sickness cannot thrive in the alkaline environment, okay? So we want to ensure that mainly our blood maintains that alkalinity, and it's going to do that, okay? So it's going to do it no matter what. The problem is, or the challenge is, how is it going to do it, okay? So all the acidic things we eat, the burgers, the fries, the fried chicken, all that type of stuff is acidic, okay? And so if we continue to consume acidic and drink acidic, our body is 75% water. We're going to keep going down this path of acidity okay this is going to end up happening to where our blood starts taking the minerals and nutrients from our body to maintain its alkalinity all right it's going to start taking it from your skin so why your skin's going to start breaking out it's going to be crunchy ashy right continue your bones and joints are going to hurt it's going to start taking it from those places your bones joints and ligaments and if we continue it can lead to osteoporosis even alzheimer's as it takes those minerals from our brain so we consume alkaline foods and waters to 
keep our body from robbing ourselves of those minerals, okay? With that being said, we have pH drops. And if we see a red or orange or yellow, we know that this is acidic and forcing our body to take the minerals from ourself. However, if we see blue or purple or dark purple, we know that is alkaline and it is gonna be great at helping out with all that acidity. So let's see what we get with these waters. All right, <laughs> so it looks like this is neutral, maybe a little bit better neutral. And then this one here, we have a beautiful royal purple, okay? Uh, so trying to read what's on this, because this is definitely not in English. It says low sodium, perfect mineral balance, pure drinking water. So when they tell me perfect mineral balance, I'm thinking, that they did something to it to make it perfect. Like, uh, that's a that's a scientifically th done thing. Uh, but looking at this, it's really tough to see what they have in here. So they do have, they show the TDS, they show nitrates, they show 12.2 bicarbonate, sulfate, they have chloride, potassium, iron, fluoride, magnesium, and calcium. So this is the country I'm in. Which is this is Qatar. <laughs> this is this is the brand of water that they're giving us. Okay, it says low sodium. So that makes me think that they added water, they added stuff to it, and just made sure it was low on sodium. So I'm curious on what happens if I blow into it. All right. Now the reason why is because we're consuming things that are acidic all the time, and once again, our, if our water is somewhat alkaline, it should be able to handle that acidity. Okay, it won't change. It'll stay the same color. All right, so let's see what happens with this Donna water. Huh, <laughs> it's yellow, right? So that tells me that despite it being a completely different country, that this is truly acidic, okay? And the problem is I don't know how it's acidic. I don't know what they did to make it I don't know if they did reverse osmosis or purified. Both of those are done in similar ways. But what I do know is that what that pH showed isn't true, okay? And it's really acidic. Let's check out this electrolyzed reduced water, though, to see how well it handles battling acidity. All right, it's not changing. Why? I mean, it's starting to change a little bit, but the cool thing is it's strong enough to actually battle back the city that we're consuming day in and day out. Is water the main thing that's gonna keep you alkaline? No, but it plays a major role because our body is 75% water. Like it's all in our blood, just everywhere. So why not consume a water that can naturally, naturally take care of acidity Instead of drinking something that's going to appear like it's going to do it, but then really, it's really just acidic, right? That's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you think. But there's our test on alkalinity. Let's go ahead and jump into the next test. All right, on to our next test. And this one's all about superior hydration. We want our water to actually hydrate us at a cellular level. I'll tell you right now, it's hot out here, <laughs> okay? It, I can't even explain it. It's the humidity is insane and it's like 120, 130 degrees out here. So we want to consume water, at least over here, that's hydrating us and actually keeping us cool, bringing in nutrients, pushing out waste, keeping our body running efficiently, okay? Not just sitting in our stomach, doing nothing, okay? So a great representation of that is, we're gonna make some tea, all right? And so if our water is actually small enough, it'll actually pass through our cells bringing in that nutrients, pushing out that waste, giving our ATP what it needs to fire off and create that energy, okay? Uh, and this tea bag is not necessarily as small as our cells, but it's a great representation, okay? So let's go ahead and see if we can make tea using Donna's water. Donna's water, I don't know if it's a person. 
That's what we're gonna go with Donna. It's a person. Who owns a company that makes water. We're gonna that's what we're gonna stick with. Let's see it. Alright. Alright, Donna. We're jumping up a lot up and down to try to get something hydrating and Man, I feel bad for my guys. <laughs> my guys out here to play because this doesn't look like it's making tea. And you're probably thinking, well, Prentice, can you even make, don't you have to boil the water? Well, that is a way to make tea, but why do we have to boil it? Because it makes the water molecule small. <laughs> so it's actually able to pass through the tea. But what if, oh snap, what if we didn't need to boil it? So this is actually way darker so does that mean that means it's getting through the tea bag better it's actually hydrating more so if we're taking supplements because we're working out we don't need to drink bad water that's actually that's going to force it all to sit in our stomach if we're cooking we don't need all that paprika we can use just a little bit but i don't know let's try it again <laughs> let's try it. let's make sure that this is what it is okay And, nope, still the same, still the same, still the same. This is what we're drinking. This is what they're putting pallets of out there for our guys, for us. Um, but just make sure it wasn't a fluke and it just opened up last second. Look at that. So this is it. You want water that does this. You want it to actually bring out all the tea in you <laughs> okay <laughs> oh man so uh there you have it i don't know let's see what happens here yeah it's getting darker right and it's because of the water we're drinking okay so there you have it that is the test on superior hydration and just a quick recap we tested this for three things um, antioxidants and we saw that this is oxidizing despite it being from a completely different country number two we saw that on alkalinity it started to act alkaline but then when we actually gave it some acidity to test it against it couldn't hold up it actually showed acidic and then last but not least we tested it for superior hydration and we saw that it doesn't really hydrate not as not as good right so um, and it sucks because our guys are, are stuck out here with this and a few other brands of water. I'm gonna test them all out. Um, but there you have it, there's Donna Water, in case anyone was curious. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. Share this with someone who's drinking this water. And if you're curious about finding the best water for you, check out my masterclass, it's free. Um, and not only that, I provide tons of content in there and just valuable information about water that can ultimately change your world. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little something about the wires that we tested here today. Please take a moment to share this video with someone you care about who is also drinking this water. Finally, if you are serious about improving your health and the waters that you drink, click the link in the description below to access my Water Wellness Masterclass. In this masterclass, you will discover the truth about the waters we drink, the effects our water has on our health, and how you can have the world's best water in the comfort of your home and save thousands of dollars as a result. All right, go ahead, click that link in the description below, access that masterclass, and I will see you there real soon.